So, good morning. So it's 6.24 in the morning, April 6th, 2023. And this is me starting my storm chasing day. I get up bright and early on all storm chasing days because I'm excited. And I start planning where I'm actually gonna go. Um, a lot of times with these events, I have an idea, but it's usually the morning of or you know the day of that I really figure out my location. Hopefully models have got a better idea of what's going on today. So, and I use all the models. I don't just use the HRRR or the NAM or whatever. I just, I use all of them and try to come up with a general idea along with SPC and the local uh, National Weather Service locations reports also. And then right now I'm just kind of looking at soundings in Southern Maryland on the Eastern shore to see what kind of atmosphere may be available this afternoon for storms and where initiation could happen and where the best place for possible supercells could be. So today we have uh, good lapse rates, upper six to around seven degrees Celsius per kilometer in the mid levels, steep low level lapse rates and good wind shear in the mid levels. Low level wind shear, not so good, but mid level wind shear is good. So it should be, should be a couple supercells and then there's probably gonna be line segments or it'll grow into a line or it'll be a sloppy mess somehow, I don't know. But we're gonna see. So it's a beautiful morning out this morning. Birds are chirping. It's in the 70s already, so it's gonna feel like summer. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's going to be an exciting day, I hope. So my morning's going to start out going to get some coffee. Then what I'll do is I'm going to come back and start looking at models more and more as they come in, especially waiting for the, uh, 12Z models to come out, which the HRRR comes out around nine, but the HRRR comes out every hour, but still they have that. HRRR comes out at 9 Eastern time, and the other ones, the HRWs, the uh, NAM, come out at between 10 and 11. So I'll take all that information in, see what the SPC again has to say when they update. I think they update around 10, 10.30. Um, local forecast, take all that information together to come up with a chase point. That's how I do it. I mean, you have to use all the information available data, right? And make make a decision. And hopefully it's the right decision. We have a lot of information available to us now. And, and so it makes storm chasing a bit easier, but it's, it's never that easy. Um, you know, and this storm initiation is something that convective models always have trouble with or placing storms and stuff you get an idea where they're going to be but you never really know what they're really going to look like and until it actually happens that's the cams are just there to help you figure it out um but yeah it's never easy especially like if i chase southern maryland today not good storm chasing territory a lot of trees Eastern shore is a little bit better. There's more, you know, more open, there's some open land with the farms out there, but again, still tough, tough chasing territory. And you know, we have to worry about traffic or something going across the bridge. One thing, if I end up on the Eastern shore and something goes, it goes awry, I just go to Ocean City and eat some fries and play some video games. <laughs> uh, but yeah, right now my, I'm kind of leaning towards Southern Maryland. Looks like a little bit earlier storm initi initiation time. I don't like chasing in the dark. What am I? can't get good video I don't like chasing I've kind of giving up on that um the only way I chase in the dark or not really chase but I'll film in the dark is if I'm there already and, and it's starting to get dark like in New Jersey with my previous New Jersey video because it just the storms came in and it was starting to get dark but preferred day and night night's just useless uh yeah so that's that's kind of how it goes for me with storm chasing and hopefully that helps you understand it it's a process a lot of obsessing and trying to figure it out and hopefully you get some good video and yeah that's it and, and learn a little bit more about storms these geese they look like they want to go storm chasing very interesting
really tough chase today to figure out where to go. I'm going to Southern Maryland, but this is just showing like updraft helicities. And here you have a grouping here, H triple R. So there's a grouping down here. And the old fi fine FV3 <laughs> prints it across here. So I'm playing Southern Maryland because of timing. Maybe it gets over the eastern shore, the sun's going down, but Southern Maryland seems to have some of the best parameters and also worry about storms when they're crossing the bay because the water's cold, so I don't know how it's going to impact the storms. So I'm playing Southern Maryland in hopes to get something, and we'll see. It is not an easy chase day today. It's tough decisions because when I go, like I said, the bay's there. So if I go to Southern Maryland, things happen on the eastern shore. There's no way to get across at this point. Um, too far south to get to the Bay Bridge and all that, so... We'll see how it goes, but Southern Maryland it is. So I've started, it's 1030 in the morning. This is my first home Maryland storm chase of the year. So I'm on my way. I'm gonna stop at Royal Farms start first and get, get some snacks and drinks to get me through the day. Uh, Again, like I said earlier, the big thing is positioning here can be tough because you have the bay, so it splits the state, and we only have the bay bridge that goes across. So if for some reason things don't work out, I'll be watching the storms across the bay and watching them go bye-bye. So hopefully, hopefully I've made the right decision, and we'll see what happens here. I'm, I'm heading to the store, and then I'm going to go from there and Good things happen. <clears throat> so this is my first time stopping at this Royal Farms here. It's brand new. It just opened like last month. And then over here, on some days on Storm Chases, I'll get fries from here at Ann's Footlong Subs. They've been there for 70 years. So and it's very old school and still the same. But I'm going to go on this Royal Farms here and get my snacks and stuff. That's how a storm chase starts out. Royal Farms is known for their fried chicken, but I really don't eat fried chicken. So here we go. As you can see, it is clear out here today. There are no clouds down here. Not one cloud, really. It's the Patuxent River. That goes to St. Mary's County, that bridge down there is Point Lookout State Park. Look, this is good for storms. So in the distance here, this is a solo super belt with a split, but it was this is the right split up, obviously, and this is out over the Chesapeake Bay out near Point Lookout. So this is uh, doing well still. Um, my storms will be coming from this way here. Everything's starting to go up and head this way towards uh, um, Solomon's Island. So it's been it's a slow go but it's happening now it's still sunny and again in the distance that's a solo super cell that's out over the bay so here's my possible storm here this is the right split off a of, right a split supercell as the photographs are straight now this here this is my storm right here it's heading basically this way I'm trying to get a better beat on it but I have to cross a bridge and I want to make sure I'm right on this so I'm waiting to see how this plays out but that's my storm right there 
and hopefully I don't have to cross the bridge and I can stay here. So I have to cross the bridge. I have a super cell, but it's kind of moving to the right of the flow. So unfortunately I have to make this track. I have to cross the bridge. This is going across the Patuxent River. It is, this is storm chasing. This is what happens. A part of the game. And that to the right is the storm. It's in the distance, but it's coming. And it's pretty strong. So it's severe warm. And that's what I expected to stay. I don't expect tornadoes. It should have big hail and everything. But this should be a good looking storm. I hope. That's it to the right. I'm just crossing this bridge. Here's the mesocyclone here. I got it. I'm in a ballpark. This was the best I could do, but I made it. Here it comes. And here comes the storm, folks. And it is... I think I just saw a piece of hail. Yes, there's ping pongs coming down. Oh boy. If I can't go out and get my camera, there's ping pongs coming down. They're just going to have to get blown over. Here it comes, folks.
So I'm in the storm. I made it to the Mizai Cyclone. It was a lot, and I got right into it. So successful day. I thought it was going to be a disaster for a second, but a successful day. Ah, the highs can be high, and the lows can be low storm chasing, but this is a high. So here I've made it to intercept number two. This is more of a squall line, but there's embedded rotations as you can see in here. But the other one was a straight up supercell, but this has superceller aspects in here and squall line. There should be a big gust of wind coming through on this too. This is definitely a good day. So here I go. This is the squall line coming through. You can see behind me. It's getting ready to get crazy. Well, folks, this ends a impressive day in Southern Maryland. Got I intercepted a supercell and I intercepted a squall line. It ended up becoming a supercell, I believe. So it was, without a doubt, the greatest day in Southern Maryland. What an amazing day. And there's all kinds of crazy lightning, but I'll have to get home.
I'm done for the day. I got a supercell, I got a squall line turned into a supercell, I got hail ping pong balls falling out of the sky, I got soaked, I got everything. I hope y'all enjoy this video. I will, I look forward to the next one. Uh, this is April 7th or 6th, 7th, I can't remember. But anyway, it looks like it may be a little while before our next severe event, but this will definitely fill that void I was having for seven or eight months. <laughs> so, what a great day. Peace out.